Developing tonight, we're learning more about two men who drowned in the Salt River. Both have been identified as Afghani refugee cousins who came to Arizona back in 2021. Family members say that the men knew how to swim, but not well enough to overcome the river. Both men had goals to go to college in the U.S. There's a GoFundMe that's been set up to support the families. If you'd like to help out, we've put a link on 12news.com. And some brand new technology was used in the search for one of those Afghani men. 12 News journalist Troy Hayden went to Saguaro Lake today to take a look at this new and very effective tool. Troy? Yeah, interesting piece of technology, Mark and Caribe. Maricopa County Lake Patrol divers have the job of going into the water to search for drowning victims. But often the water in our lakes and rivers is so murky that divers are working in near zero visibility, and that can be dangerous and the search takes a lot of time. Well, just weeks ago, the Sheriff's Office got a brand new underwater ROV. It has amazing capabilities, and we got an exclusive look at it today. This is the Ocean Botics SRV-8X. It's a brand new $400,000 underwater ROV. MCSO got it just over a month ago, but it's already been involved in three different drowning recovery operations, including one over the weekend involving those Afghani cousins at the Salt River. And they start in the front. So in the front right here, you have two LED lights that uh, we light up in the bottom and makes it where you can see things with the live feed camera, which is a 4K camera right here behind the globe. And that is for the live view image. This is a grabber right here, which is used to grab uh, onto whatever we are searching for. That's the method of recovery. The ROV uses that advanced technology to help guide itself in the water. The operator sits at a computer screen, reading both sonar information and getting real-time video. And the unit makes quick work of finding an underwater training dummy today. It's so kind of eerie looking at that. Yes, it is. Um, it is a feeling you never get used to. Once again, it's a mission of ours is to locate and recover everybody to bring them home for their families. To demonstrate the gravity and importance of this mission, look at the number of drownings just this summer. They keep totals here inside the ROV command center. So you've got two at Saguaro, four at Pleasant, two at Bartlett, again, just this summer, three at Canyon, three in the river, and one at Horseshoe. A total of 13 drownings just this season. It's sobering to watch this because, again, 13 times this year, uh, this has been a real scene. So is there a message to take out of all this to people who may be using our lakes and rivers? Yeah, whether you feel you're a confident swimmer and there's no dangers posed to you, always wear a PFD, personal flotation device. There has not been any drownings in the last 25 years that I know of where the person was wearing a PFD. So Sergeant Jason Gilchrist there is considered one of the most experienced underwater search and rescue experts from the entire country. And he's often called to other jurisdictions to help with their operations. He says this new ROV is a game changer and should help bring closure to many families in the years ahead. Mark Caribe, back to you. Yeah, it's one of those technologies you really hope to never, never need. Never have to Yeah, tap to need. All right, Troy, thank you.